All right, folks, it's time to do some hover strolling. I am on the lake right now, and we're gonna use the Jacko Revoltage, their RV, drift fry three inches. And I am gonna start off using the traditional method of hover strolling. We got the fish arrow spine hook on top, and we have a 0.6 gram nail weight right there. Let's go. I'm using my Arc Gravity BFS Reel and my Major Craft Ben K rod. So uh, check out the full details in the description below for the gears. Let's go fishing. All right, time to fish the drift fry. I got the range roller jig on. This is the 0.9 grams. Cast out there the slow roll retrieve and jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Keeping at the high water column. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. A big pickerel. Let me just... Big pickerel. Don't, don't lose it, Jimbo. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah! Woo! Look at this monster! Look at that monster! Monster pickerel! Yeah! All right, this is a big, big freaking pickerel, like humongous freaking guy. Oh, let me grab him the other way. Yeah. Hey, 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 chill, chill, chill. I just want to open the mouth for y'all to see. Look at that monster! Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Look at that. You wanna open up? Oh yo, oh yo, oh yo, oh yo, oh yo. No, you don't wanna open up. Yeah, I don't blame you. Let me get some uh, plier. All right. One last look. Look at that beauty. Woo. All right. Yeah, yatta. All right, that was fun. How we're strolling. You guys cast out there, do some twitching just like that. And he smacked me. Oh, got another fish. That was quick. Very quick. Are you kidding me? That's not a pickerel. Hover strolling, man. It's a pickerel magnet. Look at that. Oh, man. These guys here are so feisty. Ay, 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 yes. Woo. All right, get back up here. My hand on you. My hand on you. Am I bleeding? All right. Oh. All right, little guy. Off you go. All right, this thing hover stroll is uh, not as good as a flash J, but I can see that potentially if you put like heavier jigs on, this guy will do really well for more of a mid strolling. But right now, it's still working, so I'm gonna fish for a little bit and uh, see if we catch any more big pickerels. I mean, it seems like they're uh, right by this shallow flat area because the wind's blowing up, right? And it's attracting all the bait fish here. It's attracting definitely the crappies. The crappies uh, been biting well. And then uh, we have some perch here as well. And the perch are feeding for sure because they're getting ready to spawn. But the perch, crappies, and pickerels, they're great fish to fish for during the cooler season, like right now. The bass, I haven't seen one at all. So, we will fish for what bites, right? Fish for what bites. Oh, got one. Oh yeah, finally, finally. Got the bass. That's what I'm here for, for at least one bass. This could be a really, really good bait for pre-spawn fishing. Oh yeah. Very, very easy to fish. You just cast out there, twitch it back. Very aggressive in a way. So yeah, I can see myself catching a lot of bass with this when a bass bite picks up.
Oh, fish, fish. Oh yeah, multi-species day. Is this a perch? Yes. What? Mama. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Get rid of these hair stuff. All right, look at that. Another mama. Yeah, look at this three inch lure. This guy wants it. All right, off it goes. Well, it's actually a girl, so peace out, mama. Oh, I already felt something. I think I know what it is. Algae of doom. Yeah, it feels weird. Yep, algae. Algae, algae, algae. How much is all about throwing the lighter stuff? This guy might be a little too heavy. Too heavy. I guess I could throw the lighter jig. The lighter jig would probably do a lot better. Now I pull this out. We're not destroying the lure. Okay. Let's do it. Let's try the lighter jig. Dude, the 0.3 gram is insane. It is rolling, but it's not rolling crazy, but it's sinking very, very slow. That's good. And if I retrieve this, it doesn't do anything. Interesting. All right, well, let's just fish it. All right, so um, yeah, the RV Drift Fry, definitely not what I expected. I thought potentially it'll be like amazing, amazing lure because of the, the lip and everything. But I am a huge fan of the uh, Flash J for the harvest trolling ability. The ability to fish very, very light weights. There we go, look at that. And uh, fishing light weights and have a roll is the key for a lot of my harvest trolling, right? And this lure here, you can't really get it uh, to roll. Oh, bye bye. Oh, wait, wait, can I get you? Yeah, look at that. Got him, got him. Big, thick mama. It just popped off on the side, it's pretty funny. But yeah, um, this lure here doesn't roll well at all with uh, light jigs or even the traditional style hover strolling. And um, in my books, that's not good. But potentially, potentially these uh, lures here could be really, really good lure for mid strolling, like more of a, a heavier jig. Oh, look at that roll. Look at that flash. So fun fishing this lure. Well, how about strolling in general? You have any plastic that sinks very slow? It's great. Fish, come on. Uh, drop two fish right there. Back to back. That's fish. Oh my gosh, this is a thick one. Look at that. Woo! All right, another mama. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Not a freaking slab. And I'm bringing this way. This one is nice. Look at that monster slab. Monster slab. All right, off it goes. That's a fish. It came off. That's a fish. Woo! <laughs> I smacked my stuff in the leg. He didn't see that coming. He bit twice. Pinch. Close the gills. All right. Off you go. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Slow roll. Retrieve slack. Pendulate. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. 
Oh, algae, crap. Doesn't matter anymore. You can put all the techniques you want, but you have this thing right here. It's not happening. Clean it up. All right, folks, right now I'm rigging a uh, the RV uh, drift fry, three inch. The traditional hover strolling method, but I am gonna fish the one with the lip removed. And I wanna see if the one with the lip removed will actually roll better. Because uh, with the lip, all that resistance making it tough for it to even roll. It makes sense. You know, it has, uh, has a, a cr crazy restriction, right? So let's just put this on the traditional style and uh, see if we get some fish to bite. Well, most importantly, can we get this thing to roll properly? Okay, so this is hooked pretty well. And I'm gonna use 0.6 gram, my usual, and I already knocked out the eye. <laughs> oh man. All right, so I'm gonna put the nail weight 0.6 gram exactly at the hole that they designed, which is right at the lip area, which I cut off. And let's just leave it right around there. And uh, let me just see what happened. Get some water going. No, no rolling. It's subtle roll, but it's not, not as good as the Flash J. That's unfortunate, but at least it's horizontal. It rolled a little bit. All right, let me uh, change this. I'm gonna use this the way I typically do it. Come on. Still not strolling, but whatever. Not rolling. I'm gonna do the typical American hover strolling. No action, just pendulating, gliding through. Boring stuff, but you know, it still works. Finally got a crappy with this non-rolling, hover-strolling lure. <laughs> oh man. All right, off it goes. Okay fam, let me summarize my first impression fishing of the Jackal RV Drift Fry. Uh, well, it doesn't roll well. <laughs> and uh, what gives? I have no idea, but I did some research. But let me just talk about what I did and what we'll do in the future, okay? So uh, in this video, as I've portrayed, I did uh, traditional style hover strolling, traditional style rigging using 0.6 gram and um, it didn't roll well with or without the lip, okay? The last catch took me actually 30 minutes to catch that fish without the rolling action. Now I'll put that uh, owner jig, the range roller jig at 0.9 grams and it was rolling well and I'm pretty much flat out sling. You guys seen it, right? Uh, so yeah, I was like, what give? How can I get this plastic to roll like the Japanese? So I have looked up the Prince of Japan. Yeah, they uh, kind of dubbed them recently because Kyuya Fujita have been w winning uh, a lot of tournaments in the US using the RV Drift Fry. And I did a little bit more research on how he'd been uh, fishing. He's really fishing with heavier jigs. Uh, for hover strolling, for the upper water column, he will use the small one, just like this one here. He'll use four pound line and he used anywhere between 1.2 grams to one 0.8 grams. So it's definitely heavier than what I'm doing. So I will be trying it again with some heavier uh, weights. Um, and the water is warming up right now, so I could definitely fish it a little bit more aggressive with the heavier jigs. So I can't wait to try it out. Uh, but let me share with you how Kyoya is actually winning the tournaments. He is fishing a lot lower. He's using heavier jigs between 1 8 ounce to 3 16. And I have a feeling and I have a really big feeling that he's been Damiki rigging uh, most of the time because this lure here, like this lure here with a heavier jig and if you vertical jig it, it rolls a lot. Like everyone in the tournament, right, that's in the top few, they're front facing sonar anglers, right, using the Miki rig and they're catching fish. But why is Fujita, you know, Kira Fujita winning? I have a feeling it's that rolling effect, okay? It's that rolling. He's mid strolling, bottom strolling, and he is Damiki rigging using that rolling effect and catching fish. So with that said, this is what I'm gonna do. 
Uh, in a future video, I'll try definitely fishing it hover strolling style with a little bit heavier weights, but I do plan on doing some uh, deeper water fishing up north, uh, looking for smallies, looking for lake trout, looking for rainbow trout, even uh, salmon, right? Using uh, mist strolling techniques. So if you are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned for that because that is all my bucket list. Anyway, the fish don't wait. Thank you for watching this video. You get all your harvest strolling stuff at Bait Finesse Empire. Left links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Peace out.